hello guys welcome back this video we will see the difference between secondary and standby name node so it's a confusing part for some people and they will think both secondary and standby do the same function so let's deeply understand what is the role of secondary and standby name node also we will see do we really need this secondary and standby name node at the same time first let's try to understand what is the role of secondary name node so secondary name node helps to do the checkpoint and also it helps to uh, recover or restore hdfs in case of any failure or disaster so that means the main role of secondary is to help the checkpoint and restore or uh, restore the hdfs service or restore the name node service in case of any failure so let's see uh, why how it helps to do the checkpoint so we know so this is the name node so initially we will have a file called fs image so this is the persistent image and edits file so when it start then fs image will be loaded to the memory and whatever the contents inside the edit will be applied here so we will have a namespace here okay so after that whatever the update happens here in the namespace will be added to the edit so the main problem is we our edit file will keep growing and the fs image file will be as it is so this huge sized edit file will be a problem so the main problem is so when we are restarting our name node service it take lot of time to start so to avoid that what we will do the system will periodically take the latest fs image or latest in memory uh, metadata information into new file and it restart writing to new edit file so we will have a latest fs image and a relatively uh, small sized edit file so this is done with the help of secondary name node okay so this is our secondary name node and this is the name node how it uh, do it will send this uh, fs image and uh, edit and load here then uh, take the latest fs image send it back replace it and start writing to the new edit file so in previous uh, video i have explained this checkpoint process in detail so we need a secondary name node maybe you may be thinking this way like say for example if i have a single node cluster this is also happening so the reason is in that case so we will have the name node as well as a secondary name node running or these daemons are running on the same machine and we need the identical configuration uh, for the secondary name node the main reason is it has to load this fs image and apply edit so it has to be the same memory so the main role is do the checkpoint checkpoint we are clear and the disaster recovery disaster recovery in the sense it will have the fs image and edits so by using this uh, file so we can uh, restore this name node service but that require lot of manual effort and a lot of time okay so we can restore but take lot of time so it's not a uh, high availability option it's just a backup option and it helps to do the checkpoint so that is the role of secondary name node so now we will see what is standby name node so standby name node is part of name node high availability okay so if you enable high availability you will have a name node and you will have a standby name node okay so this is standby name node and this is a name node and uh, it can easily switch to name node either manually or automatically okay without a uh, much delay so it can automatically or manually switch to standby to active name node state and another option additional feature this standby name node provide is it also provide uh, i mean it also helps to do the checkpoint so high availability plus checkpoint that is the standby name node but the secondary name node only helps to do the checkpoint but here it helps to uh, enable high availability feature for this name node service plus checkpoint 
so now let's conclude this so we don't need secondary name name node as well as a standby name node so secondary and standby we don't need at the same time because see whatever the functionality a secondary name node do that is a checkpoint that is done with the help of standby name node so if you have the standby name node so you don't need the secondary name node second is like the people who has enable high availability so during that ha deployment so you can see the secondary name node service will be automatically deleted and standby will be added and uh, definitely both standby as well as secondary name node helps to do the checkpoint i hope this is very clear thank you for watching this we will see in the next topic bye